here we go. It's time for the race at Bahrain, round number one of the season. First of all, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, which was the qualifying episode, go check it out. And basically, spoilers are ahead. So go watch it and see what we qualified before we jump into the action. Now, this video is sponsored by NordVPN. I'll talk about them in a minute. But first of all, let's quickly go for a brief recap of qualifying. Again, spoiler warning. So please bear that in mind. So yeah, qualifying went well. The car is working pretty decently around here, but Having said that, it does seem like Max has a bit of an advantage. Now, hopefully guys give the format a chance. Again, we're going to do it for a few episodes and see how it goes. I quite enjoy it. I could put more details into qualifying and the race, but I still want to see your feedback and hopefully uh, you give it a chance. But yeah, enough of the uh, the waffle. The grid rundown is underway. So yeah, final warning for spoilers and let's get into the full grid rundown after qualifying. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position and Martinez completes the front row. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Stroll, Leclerc, Pierre Gasly and Norris, Bottas, Sainz, Russell and Daniel Ricciardo, Joe, Ocon, Yuki Tsunoda and Latifi. Giovinazzi, Matsushita, Christian Lungard, and Daniel Tictum, Mick Schumacher, Eilert, Schwartzman, and Nikita Mazepin. And now it's time to head down to the track. Now then, NordVPN is a virtual private network which essentially encrypts and protects your IP address, which is available at all times publicly on the internet. So you're basically exposed to threats. It's very simple to use, one click only, and you're instantly protected, or you can turn on the auto-connect feature. Also, Nord has over 60 countries available for you to go to. So essentially, you can change based on preference for content or whatever it is you may be using NordVPN for. It has over 5,400 servers, so you're going to get peak best possible internet connection worldwide. Nord is the fastest VPN on the market in terms of internet service. You are going to get protection against DDoS attacks, no throttling. So essentially you're going to have maximum internet performance while gaming. That also applies to streaming services such as Netflix. You can also access, you know, stuff from different regions in terms of content. Now NordVPN have also just launched their new threat protection software, which essentially is their version of antivirus, which is massive. So it blocks any form of, you know, trackers, uh, malicious software, viruses on the internet, possible files that you might download that may contain viruses. Now, if you want to try NordVPN for yourself, click the link down below in the description, also in the pinned comment down below, if not on screen right now. Basically, go through there on that link and you're going to get access to Nord's 30-day no-risk money-back guarantee. And listen, price-wise, it's worth it, man. It's literally monthly a price of a coffee, which is absolutely insane. So it's for protection that you're going to get and also the bonus content on the side. It's absolutely bonkers. Yeah, give it a shot and uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Well then, here we go. It's time for the race. Opening race of the season. Second place on the grid alongside Max Verstappen on the front row, who's to our left. And yeah, we're going to see if we can try to hopefully get the better of him in the race. It seems like we lacked a little bit of pace in qualifying. I managed to squeeze out our front row after qualifying yesterday. And yeah, we're going to try and see if we can hopefully rely on our race pace, which is usually stronger, to try and get a better result here today and give Max a run for his money. Now, strategy-wise, we're going to go for a one-stop. We're going to go for a soft, medium, uh, simple as that. We've got a secondary soft stint at the end because the game won't let me go for the one-stop, but we're going to one-stop it. It uh, should be fine. We've done it last year, so there shouldn't be any issues with that. Fuel-wise, we're going to go with four laps less. I, I would go all the way down to negative, but I'm not 100% sure, so we'll go negative four laps for now and play it safe. So, uh, yeah, pretty confident with this. Uh, just going to adjust the strategy here to make sure that we can make it work. And, uh, yeah, we're good to go. So, let's get into it. Leave a like if you're excited for the new season. Let's try and smash over 1,200 likes, and let's get into the race, and let's see what happens. Right, let's do this. Season opener. Hopefully, it's a fun one. Oh, it's a bad start. It's a pretty bad start. We get jumped by Leclerc and Stroll. Gasly as well as we go into turn one. Side by side with Pierre. We're going to leave plenty of space on the left to avoid 
compromising his line. We're going to try and full straw to go defensive into turn four, but we're not really close enough to challenge him for now. Verstappen, though, holds on to the lead, which is not ideal. Leclerc getting the best start out of everyone else in the top five. Let's see if we can get past Stroll here quickly and then get on to Leclerc, but definitely not the best start. Strong for traction, really, and uh, we're feeling the effects of that, so we're going to have to do this the hard way and have to get past some traffic. For now, though, just trying to get into the rhythm a bit. Struggling with the tyres as well. Let's see if we can just find our rhythm in the race, get our feet wet and uh, get comfortable and then hopefully start to push and make some progress. I think once the ice gets enabled, we might see some progress start to happen. So let's wait for that opportunity. Right then, so pace is looking pretty decent. Obviously, we know we're faster than Stroll and Leclerc. I wonder if I could get Stroll here. We actually are very strong in the third sector, as you saw in qualifying yesterday. Let's get the ERS on here. We may have a chance. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Up the inside of the turn one we go on Lance. He's still on the outside, so we've got to leave some space. We go around the outside and we get the DRS as well for good measure. Lance is actually fighting back here without DRS. Here comes Pierre Gasly as well. Around the outside, he's going to follow me through. We're going to leave space on the inside. Luckily, we hold on. We've actually compromised Pierre there, I think, because Santos got ahead of him, which is far from ideal. We've got past Lance Stroll. Be expected the pace of course i know is at least second best after max so uh, let's try and get after the clone now and see if we can get our second place back and we've lost max the cheater first retirement yellow flag just further back as uh he retires from the race just starting to get towards the limit of the tire temperatures now 104 on the left rear but we've just managed to drop stroll out of the rs range finally so he was hanging on but now we've dropped him so he's going to start dropping off and I think battling with signs and Gasly, which is good. We're trying to keep the pace up. Personal best, 24.9. Gap to the clone at 1.4. We gained about half a second on that lap. So the pace is looking pretty strong. Just got to try and watch the tyre temps, though. If I can manage those, we're looking okay. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Hmm. Copy. Nope, we're not taking that. I want the medium tyre. If it means you've got to extend the soft, I will. I'm struggling to just do this last bit here and catch Leclerc. He's responding in terms of pace and he's actually, you know, uh, me forcing Leclerc to push is actually helping us catch Verstappen a little bit, but I'm just struggling to close the gap here and get within a second. Tires obviously starting to go off a little bit now, so getting close is difficult, but I reckon I can get DRS hopefully on the next lap. Maybe move now to be fair, but if I keep the ERS on now, we can have it on this next straight. There we go. Now we'll get the RS on this straight. Coming up out of turn number two. Lovely. Right, let's try and have a look at the floor then. By the end of the lap, hopefully. There we go then. Let's try and get past Charles Leclerc. Hopefully that way we move up into second place. And then we can start trying to think what to do about catching Verstappen. Because the pace seems pretty close between us. And Max actually is going to pit. And Leclerc as well. So, possible two-stop territory, definitely. Um, we're not going to see what tire they're going for, as Pierre also pits. Pierre is in for his stop. I've had a huge lock-up, which is going to overheat my tyres, but that's interesting. So, possible two-stops for them. If we're one-stop, we're going to have to go a bit longer, obviously. We're going to have to go to like lap 12 or something, lap 13 on these. Let's see how this works out. Oh, a bit of a moment there. Struggling on the tyres, man. Overheating. I might have a bit of a slower lap. Approaching the pit window, you'll be on the mediums. Yeah, I might have a slower lap just to try and get the temperatures under control. Never mind. Huge luck up the turn again. Now here's the update. Verstappen has gone for mediums in terms of his tyre choice. We'll see how that works out for him. Ahead of him, though, he's got a Tifi, Giovinazzi, and Zoe, who have gone for mediums, of course, to start the race on. So they're on the ultimate strategy. So once Max gets close to them, he's going to have to try and pass them all. And all three of them are running in a train as we get our first one for track limits. So yeah, we'll see how this works out. For now, that Max is uh, losing time. I think he's battling as uh, Ocon has overtaken Verstappen. So uh, yeah, Max struggling for pace. Actually, I think I think there's a Red Bull in the pits. I think Max might pit again. Maybe he got damage. I'll try and get a replay up. But I think Max may have had damage. 
Verstappen on the fastest lap. Okay, yeah, he's definitely got damage. And you guys would have seen that, of course, moments ago on the timing tower. But yeah, Max had damage. He must have had contact with someone. And he's way down the order. So, will he even score points? Who knows? He may be on a set of soft tyres. We've got a second one for track limits now. I've got to be careful. But we're going to box this lap. We're going to go for mediums. I could have got one more lap. But I feel like we should be okay. Uh, it'll be a fresh set of mediums compared to these which were used from qualifying. So, yeah, here we go. Into the pit lane. Pitting this lap then. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. Easy does it. Let's not speed. We've got plenty of time in our pocket. Max is no longer a threat. So there's no need to rush. So now we're looking at Leclerc again. Um, of course, he's on a two-stop. But I think we're going to be okay this race now. If we just keep it clean. Complete. Go now. Because Max went for the good strategy. He went for the mediums first. Was faster than me. And then he would have been on the softs at the end. So he would have been really, really quick. Only one stop to go. One stop left in this strategy. Here we go then rejoining into traffic. Let's see what happens here as we oh, rejoin that to back out there. Otherwise, Stroll would have taken my nose away. So behind Stroll and Leclerc, but of course, we're not stopping again. They are. Leclerc's battling ahead, though, against one of the Alpines. That's still on board here for a second. As uh, I think Leclerc is going at it with Ocon there. You can see up ahead. So this is where Verstappen was, and where obviously he got wing damage with these guys by the looks of it. Let's see if we can close up here. Seems like these guys are a bit slow. Some of them are on really old tyres. I think Snowda hasn't stopped yet. Where's Pierre? I'm trying to look for Gasly. I can't see him on the minimap. I was hoping he'd be a bit closer to be fair. Right, let's see if we can clear some of these cars. Stroll is on the soft tyre, so he's going to be pretty quick. Having said that, he's been out of tyre for a little while now. Leclerc already starting to stretch his legs in the Ferrari. Let's see if we can make some moves here. And there we go, Ocon and Snowda Pit. Along with other guys on the ultimate strategy. We're going to get the run on Stroll here. So this inside for the second time this race. Into turn one we go. We're going to get nice and wide to avoid Stroll hanging it around the outside like last time. And there we go. Up into P3. Leclerc ahead. And Latifi still yet to pit in the Alphatari out front. And there we go, Latifi pit. So Leclerc will take the lead for now. We're way off our fuel strategy. We need to start conserving as much as possible. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, fuel's an issue. Fuel's a big issue. Wait, what? How are we not saving fuel? We've literally saved nothing this entire race. Oh well, okay. We've got an issue on our hands. We're going straight to fuel saving mode. Wow, that is serious. Luckily, we've got a decent gap with these two stoppers, but we need to start saving fuel up right now. Well, Stroll's just gone for it, so fair play. Off you go, mate. I'll just try and stay within these DRS if I can. But yeah, fuel. I don't know why this happens from time to time. Some races we can save like five laps of fuel, but then this time we can't save anything. So, hmm. And there we go. Stroll is going to pit. So we've got a massive task on our hands. I don't think we're going to save all this fuel in time. I'm banking on it being some kind of bug or issue with the game. Something that might correct itself. If not, we're going to be in trouble. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and do some extreme fuel saving. All of a sudden now, our main rob was going to be Nicholas Latifi, who pit. Leclerc will also be a threat. The one thing we are doing driving like this and uh, losing time is that we're backing signs into Gasly. So, that's a good thing. We'll see if Pierre can hopefully capitalise from this. And there we go, Leclerc pits. So, signs will be staying out for one more. Gasly pits. So, that's going to be a possible undercut here. If I can hold up signs. Pierre is in the pit. Then we might be doing Gasly a favour here. If I can just cost signs a bit of time, the undercut could work out quite nicely. For P also, hopefully, if he rejoins in clean air as well, which will be a massive factor. But yeah, I'm just doing extreme lift and coast, high gears, all of that. For now, signs haven't looked up the inside there, but no way through. And there we go, signs will now pit, so the pressure is off, but we're not saving enough fuel. We're approaching the pit window, you'll be on the softs. Like we are legit not saving enough fuel. Either there's some kind of bug 
Oh, we're, not, we're gonna run out really early. I'll try and do the best I can, but we are gonna run out this race. We could be losing the race win here. I can't believe it. Monaco last season all over again. The only way we get out of this one is a safety car, which would be great. But we're running out of time to have one of those. Yeah, no, we're, we're not gonna make it. Um, only now three laps. So we're gonna run out lap 26. I'm not saving cars enough. We either get a safety car right now, or we're in trouble. But it has to be right now. I can't believe this happened again. I mean, we're going to lose the win. I'm trying to just maybe score a few points this race if I get lucky, but I, I'm not even going to finish. We're so short on fuel. I'm saving so much. I'm driving like five seconds a lap off the pace, and it's not enough. It's ridiculous. It's impossible to save fuel, man. I don't know why. This time last season, we had no issues here whatsoever, but this year, we are. I, I know I chose the, I think, the personalized strategy because I've done the race strategy practice program. But as far as I'm aware, that shouldn't be an issue. Um, because on the regular program, I couldn't underfuel, which is weird. But yeah, we're going to get caught now, end of this lap. I'm just trying to coast, but I just don't think we're going to get anything out of this. I'm literally not even pushing at all. Here we go then. So Latifi, on the back of us. I won't make it too hard for him to pass me, but I am just going to do my own thing, so... You'll have to adapt to my pace. To be fair, I was able to keep signs behind while lifting and coasting earlier on. But I will admit I was using the RS. I'm not using the RS now. I'm literally coasting. Right, go on then, Latifi, mate. I'm not going to fire you, mate. You can do your thing. I'm just going to try and survive. Massive lift and coast now. I'm using that two gears higher than I normally would do. But nothing's working, man. I'm using every trick in the book. And, uh, yeah. Just can't get anything out of this. Shame. We've only got two laps of fuel left. Yeah, well, we're in trouble. Here comes Giovinazzi. Closing in. Not really fighting it. I'm just letting him do what he's got to do. I'm just trying to stay alive. I'm trying to coast the car into as many corners as possible. The Leclerc goes past it and the straw won't be too far behind. What are my tire temps? Yeah, 89 on the right front. My tires are pretty much cold. <laughs> anyway, we're in the thick of a battle here as a uh, stroll. The clergy of Nazi go at it. Decent strap for P2 and Gasly now closing in behind. Here come the pack though. We're going to finish out the points anyway, even if we did somehow make on fuel, I think. I'm literally just. I've got no more tricks in terms of fuel saving. I'm doing everything I can. This is even harder than Monaco, man. I think even if I'd started fuel saving at the start of the race, I don't think it would have made a difference. Oh my god, the clergy of Nazi just run themselves wide. I am going to move to the side and let Pierre crack on with this, as Pierre may have a chance to get some extra points for the team here. Look at that. I think Leclerc might have damage. Yeah, he's got damage. Yeah, Gasly now can get a possible podium here. Lovely stuff. This is actually chaos. You can see why Max got wing damage. The AI are absolutely bonkers. I'm just trying to stay out of all of this as best as I can. And oh my god, you can see here, I'm literally, I'm doing nothing. I'm just trying to stay alive. Gasly though, up to P3. And look at all these cars pitting for damage. It's insane. We could have actually maybe got some points somehow, but yeah, the damage is going to be done with the fuel really. We should run out this lap. So uh, let's see how this goes. Let's see how long we can delay the inevitable. Oh. Crossed up the inside. He uh, barges his way through. I'm just doing my own thing, man. Bottas also getting by. I think Max is going to maybe get a point or two here, actually. Still, not ideal. We should be winning. We should have won this race. 
Well, let's see, man. We should be running out right about now. Two laps left on the fuel and two laps to go. Should be at any point now. And there we go. Low fuel mode. We're out with two laps to go. Wow. That is unbelievable. I guess we just retire. Right, there is Max, by the way. Up in P8. Well, that's that then. Race done. I guess we should probably just retire, to be fair. I mean... Wow. Can't believe it. And more cars go by. I lot and Schumacher. I'm just staying in this race as long as I can. I want to make sure our CPA get that podium. I don't want to simulate anything in case any dodgy stuff happens and we somehow see Pierre lose the podium or whatever. So I'm just trying to keep going, to be fair. Not doing too bad. We've got no fuel, 220 kilometers an hour on the straight there. And there we go then. Latifi wins. Stroll, second. And Pierre Gasly, P3. So at least we'll take a podium home as a team for the first race and uh, the signing of Pierre Gasly paying dividends straight away. I'm just trying to bring the car home now. I may as well just finish and just cross the line. And there we go. Into the final corner. Finish the race. What a poor first race. Verstappen actually got a few points in the end, which is also not ideal. But, oh well, it is what it is. We go again in Imola, round number two. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. That's it for another spectacular Grand Prix here in Bahrain and a real champion's drive to take the win. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I think the key here is just the quality of the racecraft, you know? I mean, how many overtakes did they make overall? I'm sure we have a stat person keeping score somewhere, and it was fantastic to watch, wasn't it? This is a strategic sport at the end of the day, but it's always really gratifying to see close fought battles on track. It's what all the fans are after. As we await the winners to take their positions on the podium, one thing is clear. Alpha Tori have really shown their prowess on the track. This is a team that isn't afraid to take risks, whether that's on the circuit or in the new talent they hire. Today, those risks certainly paid off. Here we have the final results then. So Nicolas Latifi wins for Alpha Tari. Lance Stroll second, making it a Canadian 1-2, which is insane. Pierre Gasly, P3 on the podium ahead of Carlos Sainz and Valtteri Bottas. Then we have Esteban Ocon in the first of the Alpines in P6, ahead of Guan Yu Zhou in his debut race for McLaren in P7. Verstappen recovers to P8 after a three-stop strategy with damage. Lando and Dan Tictum scoring the final point in his debut for Aston Martin. Ricardo in his return to Rebel misses out in P11 on the points along with Eilat, Yuki Tsunoda, Mick Schumacher, Charles Leclerc, Antonio Giovinazzi, George Russell, Robert Schwarzman, Christian Lungard, Nikita Mazepin and myself and then Matt Shishita out of the race. So standings wise of course the drivers will be exactly the same as the race results. No big surprises there. In the constructors though, Alfa Tari lead by one point over McLaren. We are in third place so again this is what I mean about teammates you know we dropped the ball today, but, you know, Gaz was there to pick up the ball and take it home. So, yeah, happy with that. And uh, we move on to the next one. And, uh, yeah, pleased that Pierre managed to get the job done. So, yeah, that is it, guys, uh, for the race. Not what I had in mind, to be fair. I don't know what happened again, like I said before, at the beginning of the race when you do your strategy. Um, without changing anything, you know, the predetermined strategy, I had 30.2 on minimum fuel. Um, that never happens, so I triggered and selected the personalized strategy. I went with negative four, which is what I've normally ran before. And um, up until halfway into the race, I saved absolutely nothing. So, yeah, um, fuel saving pretty much impossible around here, to be fair. It took me 15 laps to save half, so it would have been close, to be honest with you. Probably impossible, to be fair. So I would have been driving the whole race at that pace, so uh, yeah. It is what it is. Uh, we go again, round two, Imola. I'll make sure to not make the same mistake again. If you guys enjoyed the race, leave a like, subscribe for more, 
And as always, check out the two videos on screen right now if you haven't seen them already. And a massive shout out to the members as always. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. And let's go back from me.